नमस्ते बेटियों खुश रहिए आई जे वी मुस्कान कुमारी फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम वर्किंग हियर एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ उमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मेथोलॉजी सो इन दिस सेशन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस विथ यू द बेसिक प्रोटोकॉल्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन योर टीसीपीआईपी प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट इज योर फर्स्ट इज द एसएमटीपी ओके so what is the working of smtp what is the use of smtp these all the uh, points will be discussed in today's session uh, in this uh, okay so to make it in easy way to understanding to all of you i am just going to share the files which will helps you to better understand me regarding this okay so here this one is the smtp okay so what is the smtp what is the use of smtp and uh, this smtp protocols uh, is uh, located in which uh, layer of the tcp ip protocol okay so tcp ip source so <coughs> model smtp is basically stands for the simple mail transfer protocol and this is the set of the communication guidelines or the communication guidelines that allow software to transmit an electronic mail which will transmit the electronic mail over the internet is called simple mail transfer protocol clear so i am just again repeating these things that smtp is a set of communication guidelines this is the set of communication guidelines which allows software to transmit an electronic mail over the internet called simple mail transfer protocol now if we talk about this then it is a program which is used for sending the message to other computer sending the message to other computer users which is based on the email address clear so now it provides a mail exchange between users on the same or different computers and it also supports what it can send your data signal a single message to one or more recipient smtp protocols also help you to the same Uh, send the single data packets or the single messages to the multiple recipients multiple receiver sites clear sending messages can also include your text video or audio graph fits etc anything okay so it can also send the messages on network or side the internet which is out of the internet outside the internet so the basic main purpose of smtp is used to set up the communication rules between the multiple servers which is over that network the server have a way of identifying themselves and announcing what kind of communication they are trying to perform if you talk about the they also have a way of handling the errors such as incorrect email address or for example if the received address is wrong then receiving server receiving server reply with an error of message of the some kind it's clear that this is the wrong wrong server so what does this mean if you have the handling errors like uh, incorrect email address if you have the incorrect email address and whenever you are trying to send some messages and uh, files to that mail address then you will receive a message that address not found isn't it um, so if the received address is wrong then receiving server reply with error message of the some kind like address not found it is a uh, well you have all been known about this things isn't it you have uh, already seen this type of activity which is happening with the uh, some persons or uh, during the mailing when your mail uh, address of recipient is wrong okay now you can see in this example here components of the smtp there are basically the three com two components is required here first will be your smtp clients and another will be your server to whom you 
have to send data or SMTP server and internet is also required for transferring and accessing the data packets. Clear? So now, firstly, we will break the SMTP client and SMTP server into the two components such as user agent that is known as the UA and mail agents which is the MTA mail transfer agent and the user agent prepares the message created the envelope and then puts the message in that envelope the mail transfer agent transfer this mail across the internet you can see here that what happening here is the client SMTP client and here is the SMTP server and both these are connected via using the internet in this SMTP clients you can see here that they are converted uh, divided into the two parts two component first will be your user agent another will be the MTA client mail transfer agent client same as it is at the server side UA and MTA okay so what happening here the data packets whatever you have prepared the message uh, uh, you have firstly prepared the message and creates an envelope and put that message into that envelope and then you are just uh, transfer that uh, uh, message to the uh, over the internet for the server side uh, users via using the MTA mail transfer agent isn't it so SMTP allows more complex system by adding relying system instead of adding having one MTA at sending side and one at receiving side more MTA can be added acting either as a client or the server to relay the emails clear so you can easily say here that internet is also using the MTM. So here the data is sent here really here the MTA and here the also MTA which is connected with the uh, server side user B. Isn't it now the reliant system without TCP IP protocols can also be used to send the email to users and this is received by the use of the mail gateway mail gateway this mail gateway is a relay mta that can be used to receive the emails also isn't it whenever now see this one here is the mail gateway is used to handle the handle the you know, whatever the receive uh, whatever mail is received by the mta private network this is the now smtp Simple mail transfer protocol is the application which is used to send, receive, and relay outgoing mail between the senders and receivers. When mail is sent, it is uh, transferred over the internet from one server to an log, uh, another using the SMTP. I simple term an SMTP email is just email sent using the SMTP server. If the SMTP server is used to send the, the emails, then we can find or define that SMTP rely on as a process of transferring email from the server to the another also. And this is also mainly used to deliver the emails from the one domain to the another domain, which is different from the user's domain. The SMTP rely services will be used to resolve the lots of the issues which is generated through the email delivery isn't it so to understand some important points of smtp server is uh, as mentioned earlier the smtp server is used to deliver transaction as well as bulk emails reliably and securely so to a secure environment is required for sending the emails and dedicated ip address as well as flexible api and smtp setup today most of the smtp service providers don't use uh, port 25 as smtp port hence the email sent have a minimum chance of landing into the user system folder this smtp is a user friendly software fast and customizable email integrations so what is the working of an smtp server 
Uh, the functioning of SMTP server has been broken down into the stage. The first stage includes the verification of the computer uh, configuration through which merely send and granting permission for the process. In the second step, it uh, sends out the message and follows the successful delivery of mail. If due of some reason the mail fails to be delivered, it is returned to the sender. And the SMTP server understanding simple contains text commands the most command common commands are as follows like helo which is used to introduce yourself ehlo introduce yourself friend request extend more and mail from specify the sender receive to specify the recipient and the data which is for and the data which is specified the body of the email so this is all about your sessions regarding the smtp so students have you any problem regarding this session then please let me know your query regarding uh, this session and the previous sessions through which i will uh, solve your query into the next session isn't it and uh, one question really arises through here that uh, explain the working of smtp what do you mean by SMTP? Why SMTP is important? Then you will easily write down some concise points of the SMP, SMTP as per the questions asked, isn't it? So read uh, these topics and these sessions also for multiple standard books and use the multiple websites also, online websites. Okay, thank you.